our call to worship was sent to us by the Bishop of California, Nevada con annual conference, Bishop Mineva Cacanio. She sent this with love and prayers for all of us in this gathering. Call to worship. The God of steadfast love calls us together. We are gifted by God's promised presence. When we meet God, there is refuge, a safe harbor for us. When we meet God, there is also struggle and pain. God calls us to daring commitment and service in Christ. We take the risk of faithful servants. We come to thank God for his presence promises once more. We dare to seek the new life Christ offers. Amen. You may be seated. Before we continue on with our first team, I would like to take this opportunity to welcome you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is always a privilege to see especially the leaders, the leaders of our state, the leaders of our city, of our town, as well the leaders of our conference, the leaders of our churches. I welcome you all, sisters and brothers, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hello, <laughs> Lauti, the eldest of the congregation, he is 94 years old. I asked him to lead us with the first hymn of our worship service. Monica <laughs> Centuri. Coin, coin. Okay. I know this guy uh, is a, a soldier. Si <laughs>
Chisu opa he pulau, tou mohopo he peau. Ai ke lala mua, o tokoni mai mei mua. Ai ke wane e kuhu, ki he potu o kuhu. Oua na aku toe he, kau pulau namo be. Tatau aku aka mau ku follow ibah, ku evaka wai wai ku tau peke pai teu. Biar kau tau e kau kitua, ai peke kau a, isu waktu iau kalau tonga ai follow. Please be seated for a short opening prayer. Ok, ui, ai kau tangata mo kau fe fine, ke nau mea mai, ke mau kau fa taha, he fa fe ta i ke o afio. The senator is here, Dr. Richard Penn. God, we thank you. The mayor of El Grove is here. We thank you, O oh God, that you call the people to share this moment of praising of you alone. Be with us, come Holy Spirit. Be with us, fill us and melt us. Yes, and use us, oh God, to build your kingdom in this world. We all testify there is no one else but you alone. And we thank you, oh God, until the end of time. Come, Holy Spirit, be with our guest speaker of the day, District Superintendent of Los Rios, Reverend Skylar Rhodes. Come, Holy Spirit, use him to lead us to you alone. Be with the whole gathering, with the whole congregation, and for one theme alone is to praise you and thank you, O oh God. We ask and we praise you and we pray in the name of your only Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. I'm asking this moment for the Rita Fralata, please. We could Tak kemana tak kia, mau me FB ke Pulau Kalama, kemana tak kia, tahu je ni pernah mui, mui Senator of the State, Dr Richard Pen, kemana tak mui ayah no fa, no no orang yang saya ngamari, mana hikut apa kelahi, 
Ai mea mai e kau taki o tau fono amo tau steiti ke kau fa ta hai fa fita e a ko ni te vita fa lata. Thank you. Thank you pastor Tetai. Ah ko be ke hu fa fa ta pu ka e hoko atu ai por kalamba. Uh, now we go to the dedication part our distinguished guests. Uh, let's welcome Dr. Richard Pan, State Senator from District 6. Thank you and good afternoon. I'm Dr. Richard Pan, I'm State Senator for District 6, which includes uh, this uh, wonderful church congregation. And I want to thank you so much for inviting me here today. Um, I want to thank uh, Pastor uh, Kati Yui for, uh, for inviting me as well. And I want to congratulate all of you on this dedication, this wonderful uh, new place of worship for this long-standing congregation. I know hundreds of hours of volunteer uh, time has gone to uh, upgrading the facility, of repaving the parking lot, beautifying the exterior, and renovating this beautiful church right here in, uh, Oak, in uh, Oak Park, uh, a community where I actually still practice as a pediatrician. This uh, church will continue to serve your children and community for many years to come. And uh, again, I want to thank you and also welcome you uh, for sharing the Tongan culture and customs uh, with the people of California. Uh, your community, the Tongan community, is an integral part of the fabric of our state. And I would also say that uh, here in this house of uh, worship, this house of God, uh, it's very important uh, that all voices are heard in our state. And just like the chorus we just heard, we need to be sure we hear every voice. And that voice, of course, includes the Tongan community. And that's why I'm proud as uh, your state legislator that I fought to be sure that, uh, uh, to fight for a bill, to be sure that uh, we hear from everyone, uh, that uh, we uh, disaggregate the data on, uh, particularly in health and also for education uh, to be sure we count uh, everyone. I know the PI community and the Tongan community often uh, can get overlooked if you're not specifically counted and identified. And it's very important that uh, you are, your voice is heard. Your voice is uh, part of that wonderful chorus that is California. In addition, uh, as chair of the select committee on the census, uh, I know the census is in 2020. It's not that far away. Uh, it is also important that your voices are heard that, and that you are counted. In fact, every person uh, who is not counted in the census will actually cause the loss of about $2,000 of federal funds per year. And since it's every 10 years, that's about $20,000. That's money that goes to things like schools, healthcare, roads, infrastructure, a variety of different things. And that's why it's so important, again, that we hear your voice that we know that you are here and that we are counting you. And so I certainly hope and uh, this church uh, will encourage uh, everyone here to participate in the census when it happens in 2020, because we need to be sure that we know that every member of the Tongan community is counted and identified. So we can say, here's the Tongan community, here in Sacramento, here in California. You are, you, you are a community that deserves to be heard, that deserves to be uh, help uh, that deserves to be supported and that's uh, why you come together here in this church uh, to come together to share your culture to share fellowship to worship uh, Jesus and God and uh, but God they say God helps those who help themselves so uh, I hope that uh, I'm here to work with you as your representatives to uh, represent you uh, but I want to hear from you. I'll be sure that your voice is heard. And I'm proud to try to do that in the state legislature. And I'm proud to be here with all of you to celebrate this wonderful uh, new church that you're here. And I look forward to uh, working with all of you as, uh, as we continue to move forward in this longstanding congregation and this uh, very important community to the people of Sacramento. So again, thank you so very much for having me here. It's certainly my privilege to, to be here to help celebrate this new church. Thank you. I, uh, as your state legislature, of course, I have the opportunity, of course, to also present on behalf of uh, the state of California the certificate and recognition, of course, of this wonderful event and on uh, this uh, uh, the commemoration of the church. So, present that too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
Let's welcome the mayor of Elk Grove, Steve Lee. Thank you and uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, today obviously is a very special occasion. Uh, this is an opportunity for us to come together and acknowledge the good work that all of you do. Oftentimes we look to the foundation of the community and we go back to the churches, to the congregations that support and make America great and make America who we are today. Despite the, uh, the rhetoric that I hear continuously across America you know, about the controversies of religion, look, the truth of it is that this great nation is built on that very foundation. It's the belief in a higher being and the belief in coming together and help pe helping people who are less fortunate. Today, all of you here marks that very special culminating event. This may be the first um, uh, Tongan United Methodist Church uh, in this community, but certainly it is not without the work that you have done so far uh, throughout your life. This goes to credit to the board members, uh, to Pastor, uh, and to the many uh, members who continue to work so diligently to make sure that those who have been disconnected, disenfranchised, the poor, the needy, are taken care of. This is that culminating center. This is that com community center that will continue to be a basis for many community members to come and worship and to come and do God's work. Us assembling here today is no different in that belief. The belief that when you are doing a little bit better, you should turn around and help those who live in less fortune. As a politician, I have a tendency to talk about, about politics whenever I speak, but today it's above and beyond politics. It's about you know, caring and love for mankind. It's about the effort in which you guys will continue to do. That supersedes any politician, any mayor, any elected official you know, in this nation or around the world. This is the work that is greater than us. It is beyond us. And my uh, satisfaction is to see that the Tongan community, a community that had taken me as one of their own, even though I'm much smaller than the average Tongan, it has touched me in a special place. And forever, my heart will have a special place uh, for the Tongan community. As Ofa Man will be talking to you a little bit shortly, but she and I have talked about a sister city, have talked about going on a trek to the Tongan Islands. And the invitation, the standing invitation by the Queen of Tonga. I, when I look at that, I, I feel very blessed to have this opportunity to be in this place and to be here before all of you. The least that I can do is acknowledge and celebrate all of you. Many of you are El Grovians who come and worship here, and that's fine as well. Many of you are believers uh, that you want, you can make a difference, and that in itself is a blessing as well. May God bless each and every one of you. May God bless this congregation, this church, and may you continue to do the good work that you have committed to do. Before I leave, I'd like to invite uh, pa uh, Pastor Kata'a'i. Did I pronounce that correct? Kata'a'i. All right. Um, on behalf of, uh, of my office, uh, to commemorate this special occasion, I present uh, to you the Mayor's uh, Medallion of Appreciation. And so this is presented to the congregation, but since you're the leader of this congregation, I present to you. Thank you so much. Assemblyman Member Kevin McCarthy, District 7, Derek Matthews. Hello everyone. Uh, I, you know, as I walked in today, I was making sure that I observed what occurred and uh, get a sense for what this community is about. And um, as as I was reading the the agenda today, I, I realized it's been this building that we're in today is 36 years in the making. 36 years. That's longer than I don't want to age myself, but that's longer than I've been alive. And, uh, and, and I also realize that this is a community that, that, that values their elders. And so um, today I, I just want to uh, impress upon the youth and, and, and also to take a moment to appreciate the elders uh, who worked 36 years to make today happen. And uh, this is a very beautiful building and uh, it will be a community for 
a, a place of community for years to come. So, you know, one of the themes of today is to appreciate the past and, and to look forward to the future. This will be a place where there will be so many community events, life events, uh, so many memories made in this building. Um, and today is just the start of that. So let, let's take time to, to appreciate that and celebrate today. And uh, I thank you so much for, for inviting me. And, and this is a special moment for everybody here in this community, here in this neighborhood. Um, and we want to present this, the Assembly Lord would like to present the certificate in commemoration of today um, to recognize that this is the start of something new and special for this neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you, Derek Matthews. Uh, I have a letter from the uh, Tongan consulate representing the government of Tonga. It's in Tongan, but uh, I'll give it to you later to read. So we just uh, thank the government of Tonga for the recognition. Next, uh, we have our own uh, Catherine Offerman. Uh, she's uh, TOFA president and the California commissioner on, on the Asia and Pacific Island Affairs. Over man. Well, that's a surprise. Taina Tonga. What the offer I can take a motor. Now we like more fire. Oko for Kanga Tamak, my office is over now. Now we get out, go Asia, my dog, go for in Sia. That's a bit of head. Go welfare, immigration, higher education. Go hang a go get out for no more head. Here they are going to go at our senator. Could that old lion of Tom Hang up the eye at that old. 2020 ปกติตอนนี้เกี่ยวกับฟราเฟตตัวตาบตัวเป็นเกี่ยวกับเฮลาวเปิ้ลใส่ให้ <laughs> ก็ตัวนี้ก็ฟราเฟตตัวตาบตัวเป็นเกี่ยวกับเฮลาวเปิ้ลใส่ให้ Get I want to thank you, Senator Pan, um, Derek. Thank you for coming, and thank you, staff. I know you have so many appointments today, but you make room to be here and really we love you and appreciate you. Leave this message with you in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Alpha. Uh, we have uh, members from the conference. We have Diane Newton, she's a treasurer, is she here? Uh, also Corey Parrish, and any others from the annual conference. For the conference office, we thank you for your attendance. And also, Reverend Shiloh Rose, my joke. <laughs> and also, Tongan preachers and uh, Pipe Cows, can you please stand up? But we'll give you more time. They can talk when we eat.
Can you, can you stand up, recognize those uh, reverends who are here? Give your hand, please. Thank you. So let uh, Reverend uh, Katai have one uh, recognition, and then that's my deal with done. Thank you. As well, I would like to recognize my, uh, my uh, circuit leader. Uh, uh, Motoi is here and she's one of my, my uh, let's say, my instructor. Uh, she is my instructor. Uh, our circuit is called Pentecost Circuit. And I thank you. I thank you, Motoi. Mahalo al pito. Katawo ko atu. Kore <laughs> Tawang <laughs> For full membership in the Conference of California, Nevada. I am a for a membership going to the CSO Tawangau, where I may have a conference going to the Sunni, or Tahawar, or Wafa Tahanima, or Mike Wafa Tahawar, or Kakato, or Tahoto. The Kono, a former natural historian, is on the Fatabu, a CSO. Rather, a CSO. First town out on the United Methodist Church. First day off, the week of Ahon, I'm Tau Fomanatwai, a full membership to my dead gate, you're up to your sin, where she has your town out, the guy in the town. So, what made the rabbit gay, I could get the rabbit for our week, was fine for Manatu, a town of food, where she has it, in a gate to a foreign world, the Tauta, Hiva, Hiva, and I fought two folk. If you die of our water, I will water, I won't water. We cut on our ear before I'm going to form a town. My story. The Mahiki Mike Oak Park, and the Farmanatua, who are no one who are my one. Was fired the Mono Wah with Formata, or his story, as yes. Wafa Tawan at the Farmanatua, a town called Noise, you see, the five Bemoya head. But we are never missing the Moy for Am. If I am from Manatu, I am from Fuwa, I am from Manatu, I am from Limao, and I am from Tawangau, I am from Kere-Kere, and I am from Kere-Kere. I am from Fuwa, I am from membership. For two years, I am from Waruwa, and I am from Waruwa, and I am from Tawangwa United Methodist Church. I am from Waruwa, and I am from Waruwa, and I am from Waruwa Methodist, and I am from Waruwa. And I pray that I see a Fatahanga Beua, a Fatahanga Tarasiti, my Fatahanga Fakuat. The Fonoma Maya Hingo Koya, or Almighty O Pagan, the Tauta Hiva Hiva Varu, Master Taiva Hiva Varu, the Faya and the Fahingo, a Hingo of all was here, the Tongan United Methodist Fellowship. Kau faham sih tu kau waktu step dia, kau kaga isi asin, kau full member sih, tu kau main ni baca kata tu kau share, ia konferens California Nevada. Kau mata apa yang ada full kau faham sih. Kau main bangau kau dia ni sendiri kau terus lagi konferens California Nevada tayen, kau sefinian amau wajah kau wajah kau mana 
onifaya to mo onye uto orawa orawa ma wiliwa ya ngoa ke tawan ina de 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 office o ske dari ske di tanta pe ma fono wa mi ai i he fellowship to ma wa wa ya ko si wa fe ta ni ma na fa ya ni to furi ya ngo asi asi ko ngo a fa ngatu ko ya the first town I would town in the United Methodist Church. The time here, who is a full member? Many of the conferences, the Mafuri Reva Tower Fellowship, the Humaya Church. The first town, first town I would town in the United Methodist Church. For the day of the afternoon, the day of 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 the Ani historia kon famanat of apicias koni kuma ukai na tama. Tahi wa wato wa kasi dia na fai ifo ni wa kasi ko ya na share te share ko ta share ko na ta lea umol ko skai ta ifo ifo ta kasi dia na nawari ay ne ko. Uwa ki ifai ka ta nga misnari ka ta na ka paanga ko hui ki fa ta uke ke. The one who are with my boy, I get it. The fire around a fire. Well, Miss Nari, I want to go. Or she has to share with some of my more, or other. And I work Miss Nari, I am my way to a waffle when we are good. Miss Nari, her boat, I hear about far, go send it out in the field. And now Miss Nari, I my way to a Tahman of it. The Miss Nari, we are the road there, work for that. Missionary on the road, Taiwa Wami Mago Shayo Saris Marie. Can I be saying that the Mako was a Rahi missionary for ya? The house, missionary Taiwa will know she has Kanada and I say I will waffle, one man of waffle, a missionary for ya. Tana got off a missionary far for ya. The other eye is a city for Tao Kereke. Taiwa will know sooner Taiwa will know. Oh, ada yang mak tahu kira-kira Lehman Hill, dia faham orang yang dia set wata, set orang wata, dia ni pale ke tahu bahasa, mulai orang mula berkata, saya ni kira-kira. Tapi ada yang kau ni faham dia mahu orang nak kira-kira, pada mahu tahu mana tahu faham mana, betul ke ni? Kalau orang ni faham misalnya faham ko, ada misi dia mahu. Lawa lewa totong i tan penin, tapi penin fakta tahu gue uwa mana ni maaf efek ni aw mau, jadi tahu, jadi tahu. Kalau totong fakta tahu ya fakta tahu, ay ay principal bermu inggris, atau totong i tahu hongo fu. Jadi ni aku totong gue ya aw mai, ki ki sema aw uwa tahi wa hiwa fitu, pay off kiri kiri. Ini kata tu ia kerja untuk tom dia boleh wa um liu ay ay kerja mahai sias kau ia atau orang aku lawa so misi wakil so misi orang wakil lang apa lelot aku nak pay off way nak pay off fakar amu fakar anak uwa oke kain anak uwi tak tu ia tu muak itu fakar tu lang apa itu tak faham no sias Oh, so mana tu tahu ngofur, tahu wanoa, tahu kunoa, tu ni tahu fanoa. Tu tahu fanoa, tu tahu fan, tu tahu wah, 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 tu tahu fanoa ya tahu orang kurang ha. Tapi tak ya aku. Fokus dia tahu corona ni jadi tahu ni. Wah, dia kuat aku. Wah, dia kuat aku ni mah tahu orang aku. Kena hulot tahu dah ini. Tapi tak ya. Malu lot, tetapi ni kerja kau. Ayah aku malah dia sesuatu bangau. Semua ni lah. Tetapi saya sesuatu bangau. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni kefana utama ia kuli. Okey. Kau lalu tengah ni First, Tower of the United Methodist, Mr. Skyler, we humbly acknowledge 
you are our superintendent, along with our gratitude, not only for squeezing us with your presence today, but today, inclusive of all you have done in the, in the past. Thank you so much. We remember on Sunday, June 7, 2015. I know you remember. You delivered your message from God. God is love. That's why we have this building. You force in this God is love. The California Nevada Conference has accepted us to be charged it's a complete membership of the conference. Thank you. You have aided the maneuvering of our ship. So, through the obstacle and foreseen and unforeseen. Whereby the conference awarded us on the conference of June 18, 2018, as the owner of this church, and inclusive of the parsonage, where the five people are there now with the family. Thank you so much. Today we celebrate our ship and going at this safe and blessed harbor today. Thank you so much. We thank you and love you, Mr. Superintendent, Skylar Woods. Today we never forget the last 25 years from 1993 up to now, we work together with four bishops. We work together, they work together with the Tongan United Methodist Church. Bishop Melvin Tarpet, Bishop Beverly Saman, Bishop Warner Brown, and the Bishop Mary the Canyon. These four bishops we work together, and this is how lucky we are. And not only that, you have a brother and sister in the superintendent from 1993 up now. We were here with the superintendent, Ron Fisher. And from Ron Fisher to Terry Bennett, Terry Bennett to Ted Vets, Ted Vets to Rene Fernandez, and now you are the hero. This is our current superintendent for the Wildsville District. Thank you so much. We love you. May God bless you for the future of working here with the first tongue and tongue out, tongue and not metal church. I love you. Thank you very much. I'm a lot of Singapore for Historia. Recognize the celebration committee. Na baufiri asia ya committee pagadaki kaguya tu pagame hake kiolunga. Uh, I like to recognize the people who did all the work, especially those who got up on the scaffolding to see the, who did the roof. I'm very thankful that they lived. They didn't, nobody fell down. So as I announce your name, please, can you get up? Uh, chairperson, Tomas Vairea, uh, Assistant Chair, Koawia, David Fagalata, Project Manager, Soani Hola, uh, Assistant, uh, Lesina Halapiapi, Holesi uh, Tageifanga, Claudia Akau, Peter Kanungata, Sean Manoa, Kaifa Tapa, Amlaki Pahango, Taria Uri, Langi Finau, Atalua Laui, David Tekloa Tausinga, Mario Tausinga, Taila Tapa, Ngalu Tapa, Kavaliku Tapa, Etwen Samate, Tau Fapola Ulu, David Pola Ulu, Saitek Pola Ulu, Sila. Supporters, kau kau palu palu di lalom buat kumete. David David tahu singa lah tu kau wakah. Sion tu pow teta sahi. 
te valo tu o me a rua que o lua que nós já te mudou malo que fez um doco que lá e tocou nele this is all a uh, those who make donations for for the church, the ceiling, or the material for the ceiling. Kanungata, his children, and Shas uh, Kanungata's grandchildren, in memory of Shasi and Sinai Kanungata. The family get up. Can you get up, please? Hello. All right. Interior painting. Tolo and Masi to Po and their children. And Tower 39 Company. Tower 39 Company is named after uh, Daniela Fuka. Daniela Fuka is Tolo's uh, best friend, so this is a memory of him too. In the memory of, uh, of uh, Tolo's mother, Tao Familine Johnson, and brother Daniela Fuka. The family is from Mehake. Carpeting, material, tariauli, and nusilangi and grandchildren in memory of their grandparent. Somebody here, please get up. And the labor, labor was Kaloa, Tausinga, and the siblings and others. Malo. In memory of their mother, Melilea Siliva Tausinga, grandparents, Daniela and Anasila. Uh, out the table, candles, holders, and vases. Via, uh, via Labulo in memory of their parents, of her parents, Samuel Mumu and Miliani Falata. Is somebody here? Hello. <laughs> Holy Communion, uh, Taktaki family in celebration of a new church. Okay. The banners in honor of Paongo and Toki families. Siare Paongo. Okay. Ipeito, the kitchen, Alicia and uh, Loni Pooi, and the family in memory of Sioeli and Lina Pooi. And in honor of uh, Pooi and Kapapalo family, Maro, Fellowship Hall, Pita, and Siuperi Kanurata and family. We have the head, Maro, curtains, go, Resetuata, Siare, Mo. Amanaki Paongo. Uh, the rest, uh, as you look outside, if you walked in through the main door here, we, ha we saw the new sign. Uh, the sign was put up by, uh, by the chairperson of the Missionary, Ms. Nali, today's Missionary, Tadia Uri. In memory of the chairperson and the family, Kasela, Tolini, Alisi, Dunia, Anna and Meliane, with the help from Fita, Toa, and Naitingi, Laui. Um, chefs and laborers, every day, uh, most every day, food was donated. And uh, I know I put on a couple of pounds, but uh, that's, that's normal for, for workers. Uh, Pasta Katai, it's a pesi akau, siupedi kanungataa, kandesini and Fita Laui, Fani Pulaulu, Seidi Langi, Loviani Sila, Oliva Paolo. Can you get up? Maro. Contributors, Taufalo Mori, Juli Tupou, Hulit Kawaka, Sinai Fukalata, Tanya Baldwin, Aniti Laui, Aniti Latu, sorry, Paituolo Finau, Kuria Taktaki, Maria Melino Tupou, Laban Wailea. And there was others, Tadaki Kapau Kayo Hikau Hingoa Hen, Kapuri Mori, Kapamaroa Kimotol Kwe Tokoni Kwe Ya. Mayos. As we go out to the parking lot, uh, uh, Atalua Construction offered to do the job for us. Uh, we supplied the material and the, the labor was, uh, and, and, and the technical know-how was Atalua Laui. Uh, of, in honor of Centuri Laui, the oldest man who was here this morning, and the family. Here is Atalua Laui, in the back there. Also, Maria, so yeah, I know. <laughs> and last of all, we uh, McDonald's plumbing, 
uh, there's the company that's uh, alongside here on the end. Uh, they offered to help with the, to do the, the paving of the parking for the cost. So uh, we agreed we're going to be good neighbors with them. <laughs> so we uh, are I missed out. If I miss out somebody, uh, I'm sorry. donate So in case I miss somebody, I'm sorry, but uh, God knows that you, your heart was in the project. So committee, Good afternoon, church. I, I think of the words of St. Paul as he writes in Philippians. I thank God every time I think of you. And I do. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to God. What an amazing journey. What an amazing people. I think you need to give yourselves a hand. Would you pray with me? Holy and wonderful God, out of your bounty this people comes. Out of your wonder this church has formed. Out of the power of your Holy Spirit this faith has deepened. We pray this day that you will pour out a spirit of power, a spirit of courage, a spirit of wonder as we dedicate not a building but a people to your will. As we come this day, we ask that you raise this people up in a mighty way. That you help them continue to witness to your love. You help them to continue to be faithful to your grace. And that in every way, we use this space, this time, this breath, to witness to the glory of your risen Son, Jesus Christ. It's in his name we pray, in his name we dedicate our lives and this church. Amen.
first reading is taken from Book of Psalm, chapter 1, verse 1 to 6. As it said, Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked, or take the bath that sinners drag, or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind draws away. Therefore, the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Ihe doita fratonga, sami uluaki, vesi uluaki ihono no. Aya nai pehe ahono iki. Monu ia kakoe tanga takoe koi kai fo ihe faka kau kau. I fara o tua mate. Pe tu u ihe hala o i kau fai kovi. Pe no fo ihe no fo anga o ha amanuki. Kako e lao o si hova a ene manako iyo. Ihe lao o ona o kune faka lao lao loto aho te amoeko. Te le hangi e i a ha akau koto ki henga hi manga i bai. Aya o kune fua i hono to u kai. Ko hono lau i foki o ku i kai mai. Pe aneo ho pe koe ha o kune fai o kune monu i ape. O ku i kai ke pehe e foki a e faka o tua mate o ku i kai. Ka o ku nao hange koe kafu kafu o ku viringia i he matangi. Ko hono o ia E i kai tuu a e whaka o tua mate i he whaka māu. Ta koe kau whai komi i he whaka taha koe o i kau whai totonu. He oku tokanga i e si hoa a e hala o si whai totonuna. Ka koe hala o i kau whai komi e aua. Amen.
I'd like to hear an hallelujah. No, no, no. There's a Lutheran church down the street. I want them to complain about the noise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are here on this day. I bring greetings to you today from our bishop, Minerva Carcano. I was in a meeting with her and I left and she wanted to know... She wanted you to know of her love for you, of her constant prayers for you, um, and it is under her leadership that we made the decision that we made, and here we are today. I want you to know that we always stand on the shoulders of those who have come before. So as we celebrate today, we also celebrate the Oak Park United Methodist Church, who for over a hundred years faithfully served this community. And as the body of Christ, we step into the future together to be faithful in this safe harbor. Amen? Amen. Would, would you pray with me? Holy God, you have come to us and poured out your mighty spirit. And you have called us, each and every one of us, to live in a way that will heal this broken world through the power of your grace. God, some days we don't feel very chosen. But this day, let us awaken to the fact that you have laid a hand on each shoulder in this room, have poured out a spirit of power, of wonder and courage, that together we might rise up so that there is hope and justice that there is wonder and joy. And in this moment, as we unpack your word, God, may the meditations of our common heart in Christ, may my words be acceptable in your sight. For you and you alone are our rock and our redeemer. To you and to you alone do we owe our allegiance. Amen. You shall be like trees planted by the water. Amen? I, uh, I'm something of an amateur gardener, you know. I live up in Woodland, and I got nine, seven uh, orange and tangerine trees. I got fig trees. I got apple trees. I got all kinds of trees. But what they don't have a whole lot of there is water. So I spend a lot of my time watering the trees. I was not a wise man. I did not find a place where I could plant them by the water. But friends, God has planted you by the water. God has brought you on a very incredible journey. I, I still remember the day we chartered this church. Three years ago? Is that right, Pastor? Three years ago we were in this room and we chartered a new United Methodist Church. And here we are today. God is on the march in this church. Amen? God is on the march in this church. And has planted you here by the water in Oak Park. But it's not just any water. Because you know, you could be planted by some not so good water. Right? Have you ever tasted not so good water? Come on. I have. I have. You know, and sometimes we can be planted by waters of cynicism. The waters of people who will say, well, you know, we can't do that. When you know we follow a God who says, you can. We can be planted by the waters of negative energy. Anybody ever know someone who has negative energy? You know, someone, someone who just always finds a way to take the air out of the balloon. Right? But we follow a mighty God who dares us to be positive. You could be planted by the waters of, of well, of what can I say? Of anger. And all you got to do is turn on your TV today and we can see that the water of anger flows all around us. But we are not that people, are we? God has come and planted you by, different, by a different stream. And I want to talk about that a little bit because it's really important for us. The future is in your hands. 
the future, not just of this congregation, of this neighborhood, of this city, of this nation, is in your hands. So it is that God has planted you by the waters of hope. And when I talk about hope, sisters and brothers, I, I, I'm not talking about that I hope my, my son passes the exams this week. Or, or I hope that I don't get a flat tire on the way home. No, the kind of hope in which you are planted is a hope that is incredibly powerful. For it is the hope of God's love in Christ Jesus. This kind of hope, this conviction, this unbelievable certainty of God's grace, it comes, well, let's just say we don't need it during the good times. The hope that we're after comes in the times of struggle. It's kind of like my, my dad was a Methodist pastor. And, and my dad used to say that, you know, being looking for hope in the good days is kind of like being a vegetarian between meals. You know, you don't have to have hope when, when life is going well. But when we're challenged, anybody feel challenged? Come on. When there's struggle, anybody have struggle in their lives? You know, when there's, when there's times when things don't look so good, we fall back on the hope we have in Christ Jesus. Amen? So God plants us by the waters of hope to carry us through the struggle. To make us strong so that we might rise up as a beacon to the land. God plants us by these incredible waters of hope. God plants us also by the waters of power. Do you believe that? I want to tell you that God doesn't plant us by the waters of power of this world. Because we can see what happens to powers of this world, right? The powers of this world are when people line up and they have power of money. They have the power of guns. They have the power of lies. They have the power, you know, the list, right? But that's not God's power. God plants you by the power of grace, of forgiveness. God plants you by the waters of of wonder, of service, of servanthood. And in these waters, we don't just take over with the world's power, we transform the power of the world through God's love. So that in this place, in a world where people are constantly at each other, in this place, we have each other's back. In this place, we trust, we carry on, we build, we grow, and we show the world that it can be different. And we know it can, because we've witnessed it. And lastly, I want to say that you've been planted by the resurrection waters. You've been planted by the resurrection waters of new life in Christ Jesus our Lord. And that water will help you grow new branches. That water will help you grow deep. That water will make you strong for the days to come. But I want to say, the resurrection isn't just a belief thing. You know, if somebody asks me, do you believe in the resurrection? Well, yeah. And I say, well, I don't see it in your life. Because, you know, it's more... This faith that we share, this wonderful thing is more than a list of things that we say we believe. Our story, friends, is the story of our Lord Jesus, who was born, who lived a credible life, died a terrible death, and rose so that we might be redeemed. Amen? Amen. But that's not a religious belief, friends. Those are our marching orders. The resurrection of Jesus Christ is our marching orders because when God gave God's self to us on the cross for our redemption, He wanted us to go and give ourselves for others in the same way. So all we do is say, I believe that that happened. It ain't no big thing. But if we know the power of new life, if we own the power of new life, if we live in the power of new life, we too will pour ourselves out for others in the same way that God poured himself out for us on the cross in Christ Jesus. 
The resurrection is our game plan. It's our strategy. It's our master hope. And we are here today because you have taken a huge step in living out the resurrection power and planting your feet near the waters of resurrection and planting your feet near the waters of power and planting your feet in the waters of hope. It is an incredible honor to be with you today. I cannot begin to tell you to be here and to have been here often enough that I know many of you. It's especially an honor to know your pastor. When I grow up, I want to be like her. It's an honor to see my colleagues in ministry, to see each and every one of you in this time and in this place. Because today is indeed a new beginning. Today, Christ rises anew in each heart. Today, as we sit in this gorgeous sanctuary, the loving work of many hands, we know the power of what new life can do. We know how it happens when hope is born. So friends, let us make a covenant together that we will keep our feet planted by the water. We will keep our spirits near the fresh springs of of hope and God's power and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Let us covenant that we will not stray. We will not allow ourselves to be uprooted from these precious waters. But that together we will walk forward so that new life comes in Oak Park. New life comes in Sacramento. New life comes on the West Coast. New life comes in the United States of America and in the whole world. And friends, I know you're thinking, I can't do that. I'm here to tell you, not only can you do that, God is asking you to. So let's link arms. Let's rise up. Let's be the people that God has called us to be. Let's be the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. table of the Lord. So if you're having a bad day, come. If you're even having a bad argument with God today, come. The table of the Lord is open to all people. For we believe in the transforming power of Holy Communion. Would you pray with me? Holy God, we gather this day with hearts full of thanksgiving. Thanksgiving for this community burgeoning and growing, for this community claiming space, for this community born anew, for this safe harbor. God, our hearts are full of thanksgiving for so many things, for people who love us, for food to eat, place to sleep. God, at this moment, what we want to lift up is our thanksgiving for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ. Oh God, we're so thankful that you came among us in the person of Jesus. That you came among us and you taught us a new way of being. For you came dancing and laughing. You came loving and healing. You came and taught us how to live in ways free of domination and oppression. Ways that are free of hurt and wounding and death. And oh, we give you thanks for being with us, for walking among us. We give you the glory for being among us as as your son, Emmanuel. And so it is that we pause in this moment to remember, out of a thankful heart, to remember as Jesus asked us to his last meal on that night that he was to be arrested and betrayed, and handed over to the police to be tortured. On that night, Jesus gathered with his friends for a meal. And Lord, each one of us has a different picture in our hearts of what that looked like, but we know friends were sharing, and through the room ran currents of doubt and fear, of love and joy. And as they were eating, God, we know too, But Jesus stopped in the midst of the meal. He took a piece of bread from the table and he lifted it up and he blessed the bread. He gave thanks to you. And he said to those, take this. 
and eat. And this is my body which will be broken for you. Likewise, after closing the meal, Jesus stopped again. This time he took the cup and he lifted up the cup and he blessed the cup and gave thanks to you. And he said to those who were with him, take this and drink it. For this is my blood poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins for the whole creation. Each time you do this, he said, remember. God, here we are on this afternoon, ones who remember. And we pray from the bottom of our hearts, God, that this remembrance never turn into a silly, shallow religious sentiment. But that our remembrance is transformed into hope. That our remembrance gives new life wherever we go. Empower us, God, embolden us. And so we pray one more time, pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, upon this bread, upon this cup, upon this people, that we might truly be nourished the power of your body and blood. God, we, we ask this and we pray this, willing to give our lives if it's your call, willing to pour ourselves out for others the same way Jesus did for us. Hold us, love us, provoke us by the power of your Spirit, and push us to do things we don't think we can do in the power and the love of your Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, for you it was given.